morning YouTube. Um, a bit bleary eyed. Um, day after the Super Bowl. Probably finished about half three over here in England and uh, got builders in next door, so not a lot of sleep. But um, yeah, um, two teams that I didn't really have anything against. Um, would have preferred the Panthers to have won with Cam Newton. Um, bit of an odd one, really, with um, Carolina just didn't seem to show up when they did. They sort of regressed again. Um, Offence really never got going, never sort of started clicking. Um, false starts, you know, Denver didn't look confident going forward, apart from the opening drive. It was just a bit of a shambles, really. Um, and um, But what can you say? I mean, the Denver's D was absolutely incredible last night. Von Miller, absolute beast. Um, so congrats to Denver, Um like I said, two teams that, you know, not got anything against. Um, so, yeah, that's another year done. A um, few pickups to show. Um, I've got two PSA rookies. Um, got his first one, Upper Deck Masters 2008. And it's uh, Chris Johnson. Really bad glare. It's a PSA 10. It's got a really lovely oil painting effect on it. A really hard black border as well. Um, with a sort of um, gold trim as well, but that came out really nice. In a 10. <clears throat> and an upgraded on this 1998 Tops Fred Taylor rookie. That fair next to nothing. Um, really lovely old school card. Again, quite a hard card to um, pick up with that gold edging. There's no chip or anything. Really nice PSA 10. And I picked up two sort of oddball cards. This one I got next to nothing as well. I was really surprised nobody else bid on it. Um, and that's a 1989. King B Discs, that's a Herschel Walker, that's in a PSA 10, and actually that was, I got that a few days ago and it's it's arrived, that came um, Express, um, reasonably cheap shipping from the US, um, actually picked up a Marshall Falk, um, very, very cheap, that was in you know, it was a PSA 9 and um, the postage was, was really good actually. It was probably about, you're probably looking at about four bucks, something like that. Checked it, it was international shipping. Um, won it, absolutely wonderful to have because I think I've got uh, my Marshall Falk. The only one I've got, I think, same sort, Sean Hewick, is an 8. And so a 9 would have been pretty cool. And the guy messaged me and said, made a mistake. Um, that's going to be, I think it then went up to about 20 bucks shipping. So rather than, you know, take the sensible option and say, well, you know, that was your fault. You have to ship it. I told him where to stick it. So, um Got my money back, and really, I should have got the card ready to be honest. Um, just had a really pretty lousy week with um, shipping costs on cards that I probably would have gone for. Um, but it seems now that any PSA card that you tend to go for is 20 bucks plus to ship, which I think is pretty disgraceful when you when you look at one or two sellers that I go with that they're able to do it. You know, one guy from Florida can do it for buck fifty. Um, he packages it well. I've got PSA cards. That I've probably got for about six bucks per shipping. Um, so I don't. I, I understand the whole shipping thing where you you want to have it tracked to a different country. I understand that, but I think over twenty dollars is is really pushing it. So. Um, 
that's where the com c order is so good that you can basically have a flat rate of what is it uh, 399 for anything but then the downside of that is that if you hit 21 bucks you then get hit 40 bucks for for shipping uh sorry for uh, customs charges over here so um you know you have to do small orders with com c but you know at the end of the day you still get your money's worth on the shipping um picked up this 1992 um upper deck comic ball so it's um i get a kick out of you and you've basically got jerry rice um lt thurman thomas which is what i got the card for and Dan Marino, and that was in a Gem Mint 10. Just another little odd ball card. Which I thought was pretty cool. And what we got on the back. What year did Jerry Rice score? 22 touchdown receptions. Gonna test me. 87, 1987, 1987, which was an NFL record. There you go. Um, next, I picked this up. I know it's nowhere near his rookie year. Um, what was his rookie year? 72, 1972. Um, Franco Harris. That was in an eight. That was on sale. 1981. To me, there looks a fair bit of fading in the card. It's almost like a blue wash on the outside border. Um, edges don't look incredible. You've got a shadow from a. Almost like a hairline crack there, I think. In the case, nothing major, but that's, yeah, it's a slight scratch at the top. It's given the effect of a scratch on the border, but it's, it's not. So, yeah, that's an eight. I was looking at some of the Wonder Bread ones, well, I've been watching them for a while. Um, mid uh, well early 70s really but we'll see what pops up and then i got another one of these um it's one of the police cards I absolutely love these police cards i've got um i've got a few already and a few on the way i think for my birthday week um this is 1979 tony dorset his cards seem to go for crazy money but this was well under 10 bucks for a nine not too bad but yeah i really love these cards really love them so yeah happy to have that um just a quick shout out to rd cards and firehouse cards um two brilliant guys who i absolutely love watching um give me shout outs this week um i think i'm sitting on about 49 um not necessarily I think when I first started it was all about the subs but actually the guys that I've met it's quant it's quality it's um some of the guys that I've been speaking to absolutely love them um very generous know about their stuff brilliant videos so um thanks for the uh, the uh, shout out I've got some really lovely guys that I've kept in contact with now and uh Really enjoying it, so uh, thanks again for that. Um, and that is it. So um, welcome to the post, uh, the um, off season. So still got my hockey going, so that'll keep me busy. Have a good day, guys.